This is a $100 leather link strap from Apple. These are knockoffs and lookalikes that cost between $20 and $40. They look almost the same, right? So is the $60 to $80 Apple tax kind of worth it for the leather link? In short, only one of these knockoffs is worth getting. Now to figure that out, we tested products from Pinnacle Luxuries, Lucid Bands, Astro Straps, Tasticar Bands, and Synchro Bands. This testing has taken over the last, we'll say, four to five months, so we're going to spend the rest of this video talking about the design and build quality, the functionality of the knockoffs, and then tell you our top picks. When it comes to design and build quality, the product that was visually the most different was the Tascar band with its watch lugs. The lugs themselves weren't tight fitting, which is kind of expected given the uh, price point of this product. The only other product with problems some lugs was the most expensive product that we uh, tried, which was the Pinnacle band. Both the Tascar and Synchro bands had links that didn't follow the bulbous magnetic design of the Apple leather link. For the Astra and Lucid and Pinnacle straps, the magnets sit within each bulb, but you can kind of see where they are within the band when you twist it. When it comes to the magnetic strength of each strap, the Tascar was the weakest. The other straps felt the same, but the Apple Leather Link was still the strongest. Now it's going to sound like we're picking on Tassicar, but all the other bands had one-way magnets in them. The Tassicar didn't, so if you use something like a magnetic IKEA desk pad, your watch is basically going to handcuff you to that pad. When it comes to the overall build quality, as you saw earlier, twisting the straps, we'll review the magnets on all the straps except for the Apple one. In general, the Apple Leather Link feels better built. The magnets are stronger on the Apple Leather Link, and the band weighs the most, despite being one of the shorter ones. Now trying to find products to compare the Apple Leather Link to the Tassicar and Sucre brands showed up in our searches, but doing a deeper dive on them, they're not actually made from leather. The Astra and Pinnacle and Lucid bands are, but they don't tell us where it's from. The Apple Leather Link is made from leather from France. The products with the shorter magnets had an edge that felt almost like paper, which makes the watch straps feel cheap. Especially at the ends of the straps, where you have a flap that just makes it way too easy to pull the strap off your hand. Now when it comes to the functionality, they're a little different between the different brands. We grouped the Pinnacle, Lucid, and Astra bands together because they basically look like they came from the same factory. Now, I really didn't have any love for these expensive knockoffs. The biggest gripe for me was the sizing. Each strap was just a bit too big for me, and it would end up having a kink in the band. If you have larger wrists, this might not be an issue, but where the kink is in the strap, it's going to result in a bit more wear and tear. The lack of a magnet at the end of these straps was actually mildly annoying, so every once in a while the watch strap would get caught on something and my Apple watch would fall off. Sweet! Between these three, if there was one brand I'd generally stay away from would be the strap from Pinnacle. The gray band that I had had the worst lugs and the alignment of the magnets on the strap was actually the worst. The Pinnacle and Astra straps are way too long. They wrap around my wrist from the edge of the watch right up to the other edge. The material is very rigid so they don't conform nicely to your wrist. The magnets are strong, so there's not really any give when moving your wrist around, making it sometimes feel too tight. After a couple of hours of usage, they have a sticky feel to them and leave marks on my skin, which kind of annoys me. They're definitely not workout straps as they get very sweaty, but they're easy to clean. Now to this group of knockoffs, the Synchro Band is one of the cheaper ones and is actually one of the least annoying to use. The strap didn't feel as solid as the Apple Leather Link, but it did offer the same magnetic functionality without all the oddities of the strap edges, which we would find on the more expensive knockouts. The magnets on the Synchro Band feel strong, but again, the leather is rigid so it doesn't conform all to your wrist, making it feel a little strange. It almost feels like it's too tight because of how strong the magnets are and the rigidity of the leather. It just has no give, which makes working out with it pretty annoying. It never moved out of place or got loose, but it just felt boxy. Now on a day-to-day -day basis, the Tassiger strap was the most annoying to use because of the lack of one-way magnets. Basically being handcuffed to my desk pad was just very annoying. The finish of the Tasker band is actually closer to silicone rubber than leather, so it didn't breathe as well during workouts. Now the length on this strap is much better, but the lugs are silver, which looks strange on my gold watch. It definitely cheapens the look of it. Though it's made of a rubber material rather than leather, it does conform better to the wrist and doesn't have that boxy feel that the others have. The overall design and build quality of the Apple Leather Links just makes it one of my favorite straps. It looks good, feels good, and it just has a nice action to it. None of these knockoffs even come close to the overall build quality and functionality of the leather link from my perspective. And obviously the $100 Apple leather strap has the best fit. It doesn't feel boxy and conforms nicely to your wrist. It has some give to it and flexibility, making it comfortable to use in the gym too. Although personally, I hate using leather straps in the gym because they all get gross and sweaty. For my picks, I also would go with the Synchro Band out of all the knockoffs. It doesn't look as similar to the Apple one as the products from Astra and Pinnacle, but it fits better and wasn't as annoying to use. But to be completely honest with you, I wouldn't get the Apple one either. Besides the price being crazy high, I also found it pretty annoying to use. So that was an annoying four months. 
nothing like put on like hot knockoff garbage on your expensive Apple Watch. But hey, Revere, that influencer. I need a drink, how about you? Yes, definitely need a drink. So this is an oyster shooter. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so scared. I might throw up. Mmm. Like, life changing. I don't know if I can do this. I'll wait. After looking through all that footage, the biggest thing I think for me, and I think for Val as well, she might not agree, but it's the sizing of the straps. Mm -hmm. So I've got pretty dainty wrists. Val has even daintier wrists. And so having the strap wrap around the entire thing actually makes it really tight. And so there's no easy way to adjust it. Whereas in like the Apple Watch, you had small, medium, large, extra large, right? And so you're able to adjust it a little easier. Now, out of all the bands that we used, what was your pick? Knockoff band. Mine was a Synchro. <clears throat> Me too. It was the least annoying to use. And it's actually one of the cheaper ones, which is a good thing. So if you're gonna get that band, uh, use our Amazon links, cause this stuff takes time to uh, review. My second pick is going to be the Apple Watch band. I like it. It's actually one of my favorite bands. Wait, you picked the Synchro one That's above first. the Apple one? From a price perspective and the amount oh, of colors, okay. like this is like 19 bucks, right? This is a hundred, like come on. I don't know. To be honest, I don't like the Apple one either, but it's more of a look thing for me. I also find myself playing with it all the time, which gets, kind of annoying as well. Um, One of the things we didn't mention is like, I've got a lot of wear and tear on my wrist strap. And this happened after like three, four months. I think price point, the synchro yeah. would win. You're gonna do it? Do I have to? Finding our videos <laughs> useful. Remember to get all your stuff through our links. This channel is unsponsored. Nobody gave us these straps, we had to go buy them and actually spend the last four or five months using the products just to see which one is good and which one is not. So check out our Patreon. We've got a lot of, we're updating it a lot more and all the other socials. You gonna do it? Is it salt on the rim? Yeah. All right. I'm so scared to do this. Honestly. <laughs> okay. Taste wise, it tastes very good. But the texture of the oyster. Ugh. Thanks for watching. <laughs>